Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, this is going to be a rant. So, a lot of you in the uh, solar industry and battery review industry have caught wind of, like, some YouTubers being uh, sued over their content during the reviews. And while I don't know, uh, nor want to know all the details and that kind of a thing, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, kind of what I have noticed changed in my own personal experience in the past couple of years uh, regarding that issue. So when I bought my first lithium iron phosphate battery, it was a Chins, and I shared that with you guys, and in fact, that was my very first video I ever put out on the channel. I just thought, well, I'm making the plunge, I'm spending the money, and I'm going to document my journey and share it with you guys. And that was when lithium iron phosphate was really new for all of us, right? And it wasn't long after that. And I was just happy to, like, document my journey with you guys. But not long after that, uh, Chins reached out to me, uh, offered me, you know, their smaller size battery to review on the channel because they were happy with the, of course, the distribution and of information about their battery. And this was all brand new, right? I think I might have been the very first person to put a review out on Chins. And, and then there was been a lot more, of course, over the years. But uh, this was way back when it was all starting. So that was the beginning. And then many others followed over time. Uh, various different names, different colors of batteries, all basically the same battery, uh, regardless, and all coming from the same place. And in those earlier days, uh, they used to just like, send an email to me and say, hey, you know, we'd love for you to review a battery on your channel. Uh, give us your name and address and we'll get you a battery out there for review. And that was it. I mean, and I would just get back to them, give them my address and my name and the battery would arrive for review. I was never asked in those beginning days for anything other than just a fair and honest review, which I said I could do based on my capability. And throughout this journey, I've relied heavily on you guys to show me where I was making my mistakes, what I could do differently, all part of a sharing of information, which was, I really believe, good for everybody. And you guys are really the ones that are sharing the information because because we're all buying these products, right? We're all interested in them, obviously. And you guys, so many of you knew way more than I know and have helped me tremendously. And then I always believe that your comments are just helping so many more people beyond anything that I can ever show on film. So fast forward a few years and to where we are right now, and I still get like tons and tons of offers to review batteries, which was, you know, a large part of the content on this channel over the years. And like I said, in the beginning days, they just said, hey, where are you? We'll send you a battery out. Please review it. And, you know, all of these batteries that I have reviewed, every single one of them works absolutely fine and perfectly. And it's been a very exciting time uh, to be seeing, you know, especially those of us that grew up on lead acid batteries. Uh, yeah, these lithium iron phosphates are, you know, they're the bomb, right? We all know that. They're great. Regardless of what color they are and what kind of sticker they have on the outside, they're working very, very well. But one of the differences that has happened in the past few years, and like, I'll just give you a, a brief description of an average email that I get right now, is I still get contacted by these people. It'll typically start, uh, and, and like I said, every time I open an email, it's a different brand of someone I've never heard of. Even if it is someone that I've heard of or even worked with before, uh, they always say the exact same kind of thing. Oh, we've been watching your channel. We love your content. It aligns perfectly with our whole mission statement. 
all of these kind of things for a very blanket uh, introduction. And I and on companies that I've recognized their name or even dealt with them before, I say, just send it to the same address you did before and I'll get right on it. And here's the big difference. The biggest difference is a lot of these places now want a little control over my content, which I flatly refuse. Uh, and I have spent great deals of time emailing back to these people uh, over their contract agreement, which never used to be, right? It used to just be, send the battery out here, we'll give you a fair and honest review. It was obviously very advantageous for everybody, all of us, consumers, you know, distributors, whatever. It was a win-win situation. But now, you know, they come straight right out and ask me, you know, oh, we want, you know, uh, we'd love for you to send your video before, you know, actually not even just love it, but it's part of a contract. Here's our contract, right? Send us the video, let us review it, uh, see if it, you know, if we agree with everything you said right? <laughs> nope. No can. So this goes to my very, another important point for me. And I've sat around and I've talked with a lot of my friends, uh, people who would be willing to invest because I, we're sitting around the campfire or whatever, looking out at the ocean. And, and I'm like talking about all these things with some guys that, you know, would be willing to like, why aren't we in our warehouses, you know, ordering up pallets of cells, building our own batteries, uh, boxing them up, whatever color we want, whatever kind of sticker we want, and backing the product up. So I'm a little disappointed I'm not seeing that more on the local uh, level. And the Chinese, I'm not going to uh, disparage them in any kind of a way because they have really supplied the market. And it's over been the past few years while they've been supplying the market that most of us are running their components, right? But there's a difference in the way that they're marketing them now. And all I want to employ to like all my fellow YouTubers out there is don't capitulate, keep it straight, keep it simple. You know, if they want the commercial, send it to you do the fair and honest review. None of this, like, if we don't like what you say, we're going to fucking sue you. I mean, get over it. That's ridiculous. And like I said, I don't know a lot of the, the details of all of that kind of thing. But the thing I really wanted to say is, like, I have noticed a difference in the way these people are reaching out to me. And I'm going to let you guys know, because it's all about you guys. I mean... And we're working these products, right? We're working them. We're giving them fair and honest reviews. I tell you what my experience has been and, and what little I know how to do these systems. Many of you guys are coming in here, you know, telling us even more what you figured out. And we love lithium iron phosphate. We're not going to get over it. We need it. So why aren't some of us sitting in our garages building our own batteries? That's... That's my rant. <laughs> uh, I think I shared about everything I want to without having to hire a lawyer. So the last thing I'll say is, uh, you know, if you want to send me a battery out here for review, go ahead and do it. But uh, don't send me the standard, uh, oh, we've been watching all of your videos and they're just so perfectly aligned with everything and blah 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 and then I give you my address spend the time to give you my address and then you're like oh we don't ship to Hawaii well okay you know you're not paying attention and in no way whatsoever under no circumstances will you have any control over my content sorry Aloha, guys.